I'm going to show you three different pieces to go into your loft. All right. Uh, the first one is right here. Table. It's kind of a caramel color. Are okay. you making faces? Faces? Let's move on to choice number two. It has a bamboo detail, natural color of the bamboo, which is okay. lighter. Funny faces. Uh, mm. I don't know what you could be talking about. Mm. I really don't. And the third one with uh, the storage. The storage. Mm -hmm. Choices, choices. <laughs> Now that Amanda and Yasmina have made their choices, I have to tie it all together. I use raised blueprints, and I have a talented crew to help me do the job. You know what I want to do is create a work area, this part of the loft, divided by a heavy curtain. The sewing machine is going to be on this side of the curtain. Perfect. And then the other sewing machine in. up against the window. I also use a Pantone book to help me communicate my color choices. 20% C, 5% M, 10% Y, and 5% K. Yeah, I think that sounds nice, you know. We can put you in a corner like that, wrapped in there, and you'd, you'd go perfectly with the room. Hello, Amanda <laughs> and Yasmin. <laughs> we found a way to define the space and make separate areas for work, rest, and relaxation. I also came up with a clever answer for the noise issue. And I managed to include many of Amanda and Yasmina's eclectic furnishings in my overall design. So here we are. It's the final moment. We're in Amanda and Yasmina's fabulous loft in downtown Los Angeles. They have been through quite a journey. First, they found out that Eric, their designer, is blind. But despite the initial surprise, they're eager to go along. They show Eric their noisy cavernous loft where Yasmina tries to write and Amanda tries to sew. He shows them how soothing white noise can help soften the sound.